Hi everyone, my name is Mitch Leitner and I am an application scientist with Nanoscience Instruments. Today I will be walking through the elemental analysis technique known as EDS and its basic capabilities within the Phenom SEM. I will be demonstrating on the G2 Phenom XL, but these methods work on any Phenom SEM. Energy Dispersive Spectroscopy, or EDS for short, is an analytical technique designed to discern the elemental composition of a given material without destroying it. When the high energy electron beam in the SEM interacts with the atoms of a sample, the beam electrons are able to knock out the inner shell electrons of those atoms. This forces the valence electrons to fall closer to the atomic nucleus, and this process creates X-rays that are unique to each element. The EDS detector inside of the Phenom SEMs can detect and analyze these X-rays to determine a sample's elemental composition. Increasing both the accelerating voltage and the beam intensity of our electron beam will provide enough energy to remove inner shell electrons from the sample nuclei. For optimal EDS analysis, set the accelerating voltage to 15 kV and the beam intensity to either point or map intensity, depending on the type of analysis desired. This will allow users to detect almost any element and generate a large amount of signal for the detector. To begin, select the spectra icon on the right hand toolbar of the user interface, and this will bring up the fully integrated EDS software. In the top left corner will be the live image. To the right of it will be the periodic table. At the bottom of the screen we'll have both the spectra and the quantification table. And the right hand side of the screen will display both the images and the measurements taken. There are four types of EDS analyses, and these options are located on the left-hand side of the screen. These are spot, region, line scan, and map analysis. EDS spot analysis analyzes the elemental composition of a specific point on an image. Simply left-click the crosshair icon and left-click anywhere on the image in the top left corner. A crosshair will appear and then the analysis will immediately begin. Multiple measurements can also be queued up at once to speed up the workflow by left-clicking on the desired measurement locations. EDS region analysis will calculate the total elemental makeup of a specified area in an image. Left-click the box icon and left-click and drag to define a region or simply left-click to select the entire image to perform analysis. This feature is excellent for bulk elemental calculations of a specified area. EDS line scan is slightly different from the previous two analyses as it has the capability to visually show the change in elemental composition across a designated line. By selecting the line icon on the left, the user can draw a straight line across the image by left clicking and dragging. Once drawn, the electron beam will then pass over that line and the software will display both the ratio of each identified element in the form of a line graph and the overall spectra. The line graphs generated can be viewed individually by left clicking or multiple at a time by holding control and left clicking. The software will also show where along that line a specific ratio was acquired by hovering the mouse over the line graphs. EDS mapping displays the exact location within an area where the software identifies an element, designated by different colors. Similar to region analyses, maps can be drawn by left-clicking and dragging over a specific region of the image, or by simply left-clicking the image. Once drawn, the software will start to populate the image with colorful pixels, each of which indicates a signal from a certain element. The result of map analyses is high-resolution, colorful images showcasing the elemental makeup of an image or region. Maps of individual elements can be viewed by left-clicking the associated map. Multiple maps can be overlaid one another by holding control and left-clicking several maps. Once all the analyses have been completed, the user can save their EDS project. Saving their project will generate a folder filled with all of the data acquired in the project along with an automatically generated report. This report will show each measurement, its quantification table, and its spectra. Line scans will also show the area passed over by the electron beam, the combined line scan, and the individual line scans.
Map analyses will show all individual elemental maps, along with the measurements, quantification tables, and spectra. Reports are automatically generated as a Microsoft Word document and the data tables as .csv files, which can be easily exported into other software. I hope this video helped you gain insight into the basic capabilities of EDS on Phenom SEMs. Stay tuned for more videos in the Phenom SEM series, and if you have any questions about Phenoms, please contact us. See you in the next video.